You're listening to the Wake Up Wealthy Podcast, the only podcast that helps you turn pro in mind, body, spirit, and business. Okay, so here we go. This is the bucket bomb that I'm going to drop here. Daniel's dropped a bunch, but the true power that you can have, true power is the ability to stay calm in any situation. If you can stay calm during the sales process, you're fine, right? It's when emotion comes up that you're fucked, right? If you're calm, that shit will happen, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to feed off this. If you're calm in negative states also, like that's one. So when you get calm, when somebody throws you a fuck you or a no, and you're just like, yo, and you're still calm, that's exactly what it takes. And you have to remain calm throughout the whole sale. So even when you're closing a deal, because you just won, you don't switch your emotions again. Cause that's the deal still keeps on going until they're in the program and everything like that. And they're done the program. Like there's something called refund, right? And, like, and, and charge back. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what I'm getting to is like, even when you collect your 5,000, even when you close your ability to stay calm, cool and collected throughout the wholesale will make it or break it. Like I've seen people, emotions literally go like this, like Brody, they're calm, they're calm, they're calm. They close a $5,000 deal. I'm like, dude, can't wait for you to get, and it's like, oh shit, what did I just buy? Holy yeah. shit. Like, right. I just, like they just, like their, their, their energy levels just like spike through the roof, right? But if you watched how you sell them, you were calm the whole conversation, right? So keep doing it after the sale as well, right? Obviously right. you give them a rant and it's you're like, hey dude, listen, I appreciate you investing in yourself. Not many people do this and you give them some sort of gratitude. This is going to be great, right? But like, but if you change your state, also like that showing that there's a difference between like being excited for the person that they're about to change their life and being excited right. because you just made cash. Like it also shows that you're like, it doesn't happen that often, right? So you, you right. don't appear like you were just you were just acting and we're not being real or authentic with that person in front of you, right? Mm. Never looks good. Mm. Oh, I like that. Yeah, because like, say I'm checking out somebody or you're a salesperson and you're grabbing a credit card and now you start working faster and you're like, okay, let me get the first digit. You start adding some urgency to it. They're going to start pressing back and they're going to say, well, hey, listen, this guy just changed up a thousand, ten percent once I said yes and here's my credit card. Yeah. And, and here's what I want Here's what I want to add to that too. God, this is good. Whether they're consciously thinking that or not, like the human intuition will tell them that. Right. right. It doesn't matter who it is. They'll feel it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they'll, they'll be like, then what will happen right away? They're going to go back to bad deals where they got screwed on. They're going to have all these beliefs that came into them. Like when's the last time we're getting, like, think of this, you're getting them to sign a contract. What do they think about contracts? They're like, Oh fuck, I don't want to sign another contract for real estate. I, I signed it or for, sorry, I just signed a contract for my home. That means I'm abiding to something for a certain amount of time. Oh, yeah, it's like, like it's like in bold letters. This shit's legally binding. You're fucked. Yeah. You know, like. <laughs> yeah. So, so your ability. I like that you said that your ability to stay calm, cool, and collective, and not neutral, like not monotone throughout the sale, but right. just fucking authentic, like just throughout the whole sale, just being you. Um, Last week I was speaking at a conference, a kid comes up to me, Brody, and he's like, yo man, everything you just taught me, dude, I can go use it with girls and da da da. He's like, tell me your fucking number one strategy. Cause I, he's like, I can feel like the shit you just taught me in a sales process, I can go pick up women on the street and stuff like this. I'm like, dude, come back and say. And he's like, what's your number one strategy for closing somebody? And I just paused it. I said, dude, just fucking be you. I'm like, at the end of the day, I'm like, you might fake her on a fucking date, but I'm like, you won't fake her into a marriage or you won't fake her on being in another day with you. I'm like, just be you, be who you are. People vibe out with people. Like people do business with people they like, alike or want to be like in life. People do business with their friends. And the way I see it is business in life. People always do business with their friends. All things being equal in life, people do business with their friends. All things unequal in life, people still want to do business with their friends and people they vibe out with and people they fucking like. So at the end of the day, why are you going to show one personality trait over the phone or one personality trait and then switch it up a week after or switch it up two weeks after? They're not going to be a customer with you for the rest of your life or whatever. I'm just like, dude, just be you. Be who you are. The easiest way. And that way, that way, she accepts you for who you are so you don't have to fucking change a year or a month down the road. And it's the same thing in freaking sales. 